Can you hear that rattle? What do you think I got? Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I have a really exciting video to share with you because I have made my first purchase off fashion file. I am so nervous about buying things online. Generally, I only order things when I can physically drive it back to a location should I need to return it. It has to have free returns. And I just found out, I don't know why it took me this long to find out, but I just found out that I can physically drive to a fashion file location. I'm relatively close to New York, so I can get into the city if I have to. Yes, I realize that this is silly and I'm just finding this out and honestly, I shouldn't be so scared about sending things in the mail, but even getting these shipped to me, I mean, I was so nervous. What if the package gets stolen? It generally indicates somewhere on there that it's coming from like fashion file or, you know, some kind of fancy thing. It's usually clear and even this uh, delivery had a little tiny issue, but I will get into all of that. I did order two bags, so I wanna share with you how I came to make this decision, what I got, and what I'm sending back, because I did actually get two bags. And hopefully I don't go hoarse in this video because I have had a scratchy throat all morning. I've been trying to drink water and tea. It's only helping so much, but we'll see if we can get through this. So about a week ago, I started browsing Fashion File. I don't know exactly what prompted it. I did go shopping with my friend April last weekend, and we were looking at a bunch of consignment stores, secondhand things. Honestly, I just, I haven't been excited about the things I'm seeing in boutique. I haven't bought a new bag since, I wanna say last September, I ordered my little Chanel heart bag. And even that I had to order, like nothing, just nothing was in store that I'm seeing. I do browse the websites pretty regularly every time a new collection comes out and I'm just not absolutely jumping to have anything. There are a couple things I'm interested in, in like, I'm always going to be interested in getting a new Speedy that's on my wish list, but it's always like, eh, we can wait, you know, I'm not dying to have it right now. So I tried on a few bags when I was with April. I think that opened my mind up to a few styles and realizing that I did prefer older things and nothing current in boutique. So that led me to Fashion File later. And I really like the setup on Fashion File. I like the website a lot more than Rebag or The Real Real. And I had heard questionable things about Real Real, so I'd steered away from that anyway. The prices seemed pretty good. Last weekend, uh, Fashion File was having their Lunar New Year sale, so you got, I think it was an extra 10% off sale items, and I did like a few <laughs> sale pieces. 10% off is a huge amount when you're still talking about luxury prices. So I did wait, I didn't wanna rush into it. I ended up thinking about it all week, and there were a few bags in particular I really, really liked. I'm like, oh my gosh, how can I buy two of these? This is insane, let's not get hasty. I was talking to a few ladies that I know through YouTube, Sam from Bargain Hunting Blonde, Classic is with a Quirk, uh, Lula, who I think is now Lula West on here. Uh, I'll have her, their channels linked down below. But they're so helpful. They have bought things online. They have a little bit more experience than I do. And because of that, their, inc uh, their collections are incredible. They ha can find such wonderful pieces. So I was talking to them, getting their feedback on Fashion File and how things work. And Lula was so kind and actually gave me a 10% off coupon. She knew I had been debating some things and I was holding off. She asked me if I had received it and I hadn't because I had never purchased from Fashion File before, but so she offered me the coupon that they sent to her in an email. I can't believe she did this. It was so, so sweet. So I did end up getting a couple things and I'll show you, I did get two bags. The first bag that caught my eye when I was browsing is actually this insanely gorgeous suede, I wanna say like peacock, uh, this beautiful large baguette. The color and texture is incredible. It does come with a gold chain and then a leather strap. I'll insert a few pictures because as soon as it arrived, I was showing some friends and I just, it's beautiful, but I actually do think I'm gonna return this one. Um, it does have the sticker on here. It's in great condition. There's some like folds uh, in the suede as you'd expect. I'm a little worried about how this will wear. And it is a big bag. If you're familiar with my channel, you know how much I love micro bags. So I don't need anything this size, but I really wanted to play with different textures and colors in my collection. Actually, I think Lula put up something in the beginning of the year asking like, what are you looking for? Are there any bags you're interested in? And I couldn't give an exact answer, but I did say playing with new textures, styles, um, sequins, <laughs> feathers, whatever. Just I'm really, really open to different things right now. The other bag I ordered and the one I'm going to be keeping 
is this large velvet purple Fendi baguette. I am so smitten with it. It feels amazing. It's in really good condition. You can see that it's been worn, but like nothing terrible. And it was a pretty good price. So the blue suede one, these were both in excellent condition, but the blue suede one, I want to say was like 19 something. And this was 17 something then with an extra 10% off. Part of the reason that this was reduced a little bit more is because it actually wasn't supposed to come with this gold strap. It said that it was missing a strap. Crazy me, yes, diving in a little bit too much. I thought, well, if I get both and they both work out, then I'll have the gold strap from the blue suede baguette. It just so happened that this was zip in the zippered pockets. I was like, whoa, score. If I wanna keep this one, it still has all the pieces. And I got the reduced price because they, for some reason, thought it was missing. But it does come with this shoulder strap. I can crossbody it. It works, it's a little bit short on me. And I think because this is a softer uh, style and a darker color, it still works. It looks pretty good, but I do like it on the shoulder. I've even, I've worn this already. We went out for pizza that night at one of our favorite places. So I wore it out and you know, I didn't get sauce on it or anything. Um, it holds a lot. It's quite thick and soft, luxurious. I have the bag in there. Um, I did take this sticker off of the inside little Fendi plate. The blue one still has the sticker on this medallion right here. This one has a couple scratches, but I don't really care, honestly. Um, I'm gonna use it and it's gonna have scratches anyway. And who is coming up to my bag with a microscope, honestly? Uh, so I am definitely keeping this. I mean, you can see I've already taken the tags off of it. Hey there, I forgot to mention that this bag did smell strongly of cigarette smoke and that was not declared on the Fashion File website. It mentioned the scratches on the hardware, some minor wear at the corners, but overall just an excellent condition. It did smell really strongly of cigarette smoke. Now, I've been able to get out a good amount of it. I had it in a very cold room sitting in front of an open window. The wind was blowing in. I think that's helped a lot. I am glad I have it, but I guess it's just an issue that comes with ordering things online an issue I had with shipping. So this does ship with UPS and they do require a signature. We had been waiting in the apartment all of Saturday. I was pacing back and forth, staring out the window and you know, roughly like when the delivery people come by. So I was waiting and pacing um, and then suddenly I get a delivery notification. It turned out that the UPS guy actually just wrote a quick signature himself and then ditched it in this common area close to the apartment buildings. I kind of live in a cluster of buildings and then there are a few common spots. He just dumped all the packages there, wrote my signature. I sprinted over to like the areas where I know people usually ditch packages where they're not supposed to. Um, and also when I've received packages in the past that do require a signature, they, you know, ring the bell to the exact apartment. They you come down get the signature. So that was how it was supposed to work. I was pretty peeved when that happened. I was with just being so anxious about this whole process in general for that to get not, you know, eh, whatever. It's over now, everything was fine, but I was pretty anxious about it. I sprinted over, collected the package. I happened to run into the UPS guy and I was like, hey, there was a package and it required a signature. You know, he's like, oh yeah, it's, uh, it's over there. And I was like, okay. So uh, I did mean to unbox this. Sorry, shirt is crinkling over there. I don't know if you can hear, um, but I did mean to film an unboxing, but I was anxious, I was ticked off. And so I just quickly wanted to look everything over. And then I was so excited and trying to figure out what I wanted to keep. So I will be returning that suede peekaboo, at least I think, sorry, not peekaboo, baguette. I, I like it. And every time I touch it, I want to keep it. I do not need both of these. And truthfully, there are other things on Fashion File that I would really, really like. A few reasons why I'm choosing to return this one in particular. It is about an inch and a half longer than the purple one. And also the flat texture of this suede, whereas like this one, I mean, it does have the FFs, it's darker. Your eye sees it a little bit differently. So just with how flat and long this is, it does look like a big rectangle against my hip. I've talked about the whole kibby thing and body types and how I think there are certain uh, shapes in the same way that the silhouettes you wear in clothes can look different on different body types. I think a rectangle like this isn't as flattering against my frame. 
I do love the feel of it. I love the chain, the color, so much about this. Um, but just with how it folds and how it looks against my body, I'm hesitating. There are definitely other things on Fashion File that I would like. Please, if you shop on Fashion File, let me know how you resist so many incredible pieces because, you know, it's one thing if you don't have access to something, if you're not going into boutique. Now with being open to ordering things online, I have to say no to myself over and over and over again if I have to resist something or uh, think about the cost. I, I think it'll be fine. I, I'm a big girl. I can resist and be responsible but it is a good reason why if I'm hesitating about this one at all, I should just return it as nice as it feels like there's always going to be something nice. And I have other pieces that I'm following that I think I'd rather have, and they're even less than this one. So that works out really well as someone who likes slightly quirkier pieces, really colorful things, sometimes impractical ones. Like I love classics, but you do see that the, um, the black bags, they tend to fetch a higher price. Things that can be described as classics tend to go for a little bit more, at least that's what I've observed. So I'm gonna return this, maybe put the money towards some other quirky things that I really like. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me, uh, sharing this experience with me. I'd love to know what your experiences are with Fashion File or any of the other sites, if there are any things that you think I should look out for, uh, just maybe be wary of, but thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Every time I pull this one out, the problem is, is that I still, oh, I still kind of like it. Oh, I just, nah, what do I do? What do I do? I mean, I think I, I should return it. I should, I should return it. Is this file actually good? Oh, you know, that actually is kind of nice. It's not too rough. I don't, I have this thing. Okay, so I do nothing to my nails except trim and file them. And I am really particular about it. And I mean, there's, oh, there's nothing worse than getting your nail like, yeah, caught in little fuzzies or something. Um, so I like a really fine file. That is one fine file.